Hey, bro, what are you doing? Okay, you're not you're not supposed to be riding your bike, Mason. Okay, come inside and do something safe, like make a video. Okay, nah. Mason, check this out. We found some footage of your crash on Instagram. I can't believe we found this. Check this out. Did that one in the front of my bike? I didn't notice. <laughs> no fooling Mason. I couldn't fool him that it wasn't Mason. That was Darren Durham. He basically looped out his motorcycle at the worst possible worst moment. Possible. As he was launching himself off a jump, totally Larry looped out. Come here, buddy. Let's do an update because the last video that we ended with was you uh, leaving the hospital. So I think it'd be fair to give a little bit of an update. So Mason crashed his dirt bike. He doesn't remember what happened. At the time, he didn't remember anything that day, but let's check in with you now. It's been a few days. Do you remember anything before the crash? You don't? You don't remember? The day of the crash. Do you, do you remember when you were putting snails on my chair? Do you remember that? Do you remember us driving to Pat's Acres? Do you remember dad trying to back up the trailer but couldn't get it to go straight? Yep, you couldn't get- Dang it, I was hoping he forgot about that. <laughs> so you don't remember what happened leading up to the crash. What happened was some other riders came up on Mason. He was laying in the middle of the track, unconscious, Michael Essie style. And then they came and got us. And then by the time we got there, he was conscious and he was crying. He was complaining about his head and we were asking him questions and he said he didn't know what happened. So do you still not remember what happened? Do you remember waking up? Okay, what were you thinking when you woke up? Um, I thought I went, I fell asleep at home. I was like, why am I at home? You thought you were waking up in the morning? At home, and then I'm like, and then I realized that it was Pat Sakers, and then a bit <laughs> later I realized I crashed. Oh, and you said you were dreaming too, right? You said when you were unconscious you were dreaming? Yeah. Do you remember what you were dreaming about? No. Were you dreaming about racing? No. So the ambulance came and uh, just as a precautionary measure, we took him to the hospital just in case there was any um, brain bleeding or swelling or anything. And he got a CT scan and it came back good. They confirmed that he did have a concussion, but uh, no brain bleeding or, or swelling, which is what we were really worried about. And just so you guys know, a lot of people were, were wondering about like the hospital and coronavirus and stuff and um, were they overwhelmed at all. We went to a hospital in Portland, Oregon and they were dead. In fact, they said that they were really slow. The hospital was not seeing many patients at all because people were afraid to come in because of the coronavirus. Hospital wasn't doing surgeries. They weren't seeing very many coronavirus patients. So in fact, they were kind of, they are happy to see Mason because it gave him something to do. So the nurses were great and they took good care of Mason, um, got him out of there in a few hours. And uh, at this point, Mason is not supposed to ride bikes. He's not supposed to watch YouTube videos. He's not supposed to be on screens. So it's been really tough for him because those are his favorite things and in the why world. why am I on the screen right now? Okay, well you could be on the screen. You just can't look at screens. So you can't watch this video later, Mason is what we're trying to say. You have to go look in the mirror, that's fine. But watching yourself on a, on a YouTube video, no bueno. So Mason's supposed to take it easy for a few weeks. He's gonna be fine. He's acting totally normal. He's rambunctious, just like he, he always is. He's just gotta give it some time for his brain to heal. But we just wanna say thanks for all the love and support and comments we've been getting and people that are concerned and saying they're praying for him. And uh, on behalf of me and Mason, thank you guys so much for the love and support. Right, buddy? Yeah, he agrees. Kids, come here. If you guys are like me, it's been hard with the quarantine, trying to keep the kids busy and preoccupied. You can't go outside, you can't go to the library, you can't go to the McDonald's Playland, you know, all the favorite things that we like to do. Luckily, Moto Loco is helping us out. They came up with a little challenge, guys. If you don't know, Moto Loco is one of the best dirt bike gear brands. They come out with the sickest designs, the freshest gear sets. But now they're letting you come up with your own design. All you gotta do is you go to the website, you print off one of these templates, you let your creative juices flow, come up with whatever crazy design you can think of, submit it back to the website, and they're actually going to pick a few designs and they're gonna manufacture them and provide them to the public. Hey, Lillian, yeah. you're kind of creative, right? 
design something cool, let's go. We've been hard at work, working away, slaving away, designing some options for Moto Loco's upcoming jersey line. And okay, here's what we got. We can only submit one each. We're not gonna what? submit, we can't submit all of ours. Why? How many do you wanna submit? Two. Okay, fine, Lillian can submit two. Uh, Mason, you wanna show yours? This is what Mason did. He was pretty inspired. It's pretty sweet. Do you wanna tell us how you came up with that idea? He came up with the vlog epicness jersey. So right on, good job Mason, thank you. Luke, let's see yours. I uh, was lazy and I only wanted to make the front, but uh, hopefully hey. the Loco will understand what the back look and the sides <laughs> yeah. look. Yeah, hopefully they can, they can get the idea. But this actually took you a long time. Just this sleeve took him about Three days is that it's about how long just the sleeve took. So. I did I did like I did like one stripe, like a whole stripe, maybe like twenty minutes dude. Okay, let's see yours, Lillian. Which one? I did but you have to be like right in front of the camera. So this one I is, actually colored it in the front and back on That one's pretty cool. It is um what do you call it? Fig leaves? Palm leaves? Yeah. Yeah, I like that. That's pretty sweet. And then and then she drew the sky. And the ocean. Yeah. As, this is the ocean. Can, this is the sky. As you can tell, she put a lot of hard work and effort into the sleeves. That I said, what color should I do? And then the mom and dad said, I like it white. Yeah. She was going to do the sleeves. And I was like, you know what? I like the sleeves white. Uh, and then this is mine. I decided to go with the coronavirus. The one thing that stopped the world is also going to stop everybody in the tracks so when you show up you to the track <laughs> wearing the coronavirus jersey. This one? Oh, I'm not submitting. Lillian did this one. It's okay. I did this one. I couldn't decide between a tuxedo or a clip-on tie. Anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching. Hey, yeah, do you, yeah. okay, there, there's a that smiley face. That drew circles and then you just messed up, so I just do smiley face. That's, the classic. That's the smiley face. You can't forget this one. Guys, okay, <laughs> stop. Don't interrupt my outro ever again. Thank you very much, guys. Appreciate you guys watching. Hey, make sure you go to Moto Local website. I'll put the link below. Go and do some designs yourself. Submit them. And if you post them on Instagram, tag us because I want to check them out too, all right?